power lines. Power lines. Natives dancing on one side. Boy, I'm giving you a lot of press you or a lot of coverage or a lot of YouTubes. Uh, it's either good or bad, Charles. I Googled your name, I YouTube your name uh, last night. My God, all my videos sh sh show up. Just, I guess I'm the only one I want to talk to you. Okay, now, we see that that's a power line. Now, NB Power wants to spray it to make sure they kill all the vegetation, yeah. No, I mean to make sure that they uh, doesn't grow, right? The clear lines. Okay. Yeah. In the old days, didn't they used to hire what they call them? Oh yeah, humans. Yeah. To clear cut that. Well, they they used chemicals as well. Did they use chemical or no? I'm talking about work work, work, work programs. Yeah, and they possibly, I don't know. they would take people and they would cut. I just think that we have to be careful whether it's power lines, the forestry. Farmers' fields. Really, we have to look at more chemicals. I'm not sure using more chemicals is good for the environment. Actually, I think one would say. How can how, I say? How can I say that? Uh, duh. How would using more chemicals be good for the environment? So I think it's incumbent upon us to all ask real hard questions about our environment. I really do. I've been learning a lot on the Climate Change Committee and the environment. There's things that we're not telling the public. There's things that the government doesn't tell like the what? public. There's things that the big like industry. What? Like that we could save money in our household uh, by having an electric vehicle, you could pay... Ah, never mind that. No, but no, really, no, no, but the spraying. People. But the spraying, how come we don't have human beings I don't know. cut it? Well, it's because... We used to do that. It's the, it's the dollar. Yeah, the terms. dollar. It's the dollar. So, I we, mean, let NB power, we let NB Power spray, even though the spray is poison, and we let them spray, then they could turn around and hire about 300 people to cut that, I mean, excuse me. Now the spraying isn't that poison? What's, what, have you been? Have you educated yourself on this issue? No, I haven't. What kind of MLA are say, you? Okay, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but all I would say is that more chemicals can't be good for the environment, whether no. it's on farming land, power lines, or in our forestry. More chemicals can't be good for the environment. Do they do? Have, do they, I'm sorry. Do they do? Do they do the same thing in every province? I don't know, Charles. You're, you're the. You you're don't the, know. The what do you know? Come I'm on, talk to me. You, I'm just telling you that I think more I'm chemicals. Laughing, I'm laughing here. More chemicals can't be good for the environment. So if you go in power, return the power. I've never been scared to ask the hard questions of my own government, or in opposition, or in government. I've never been scared to ask questions and put the issues on the line and say, if there's a problem, let's look at fixing it. Can somebody send you some information to educate you on the spraying in this? I'd love to. I know my, my brother, Jeff Carr, has been involved with some residents in Hoyt and with MB Power about uh, the spraying on power lines. I've been involved with the Agent Orange spraying at Base Gauge Town. Uh, when there's an issue and people are sick, look at Lyme disease is another example. So people continue to deny, governments continue to deny that there's a health issue. There are health issues around chronic illness with people with Lyme disease. Why do governments continue to ignore okay. the truth? Okay, so and what? so yes, if people wanted to contact me about... In What's your email address? Jody, J-O-D-Y dot C-A-R-R -R, at G-N-B dot C-A. I'd be pleased to hear more about chemicals, gloss vice fight, uh, one more thing. herbicide, uh, Okay, one, one more thing. You get this, power line, NB power. Money, right? You got there, the natives. The Indians there, water. Save the environment. What, what's more powerful, money or the Indians? And, and that gives us the questions for all of us to think about finding common solutions by talking to each other and working together. We can find win-win solutions. There are so many win-win solutions for everyone that we don't have to be always against each other. And let's sit down. MB Power has been open to sit down. Let's sit down and talk about these issues. Do the government only talk to the Indians when there's a pipeline? No, because they I want think, the pipeline to go through? we all could do better. We all could do better, whether it's the government, whether it's an MLA, whether it's a blogger, whether it's the media. We can all do better to stop what we're yakking about and listen, myself included. Why is the native so close to the environment? It's their history. It's, their, it's the way of being. And we can learn about the way of being, being closer to the, the, the earth, being closer to our spirit, I mean, uh, being closer to each other. And it's this European settlers that have pushed the, the native First Nations off of their track. And with the leadership of people here at Ormukto First Nation, Shelley Sabatis and Council, that have been really working to 
claim that back themselves, mm. taking leadership amongst themselves as a community. And we as government people, we as your European settler people, we as immigrants, we all have to work together to respect each other. We respect each other and water. Each other. But can can that poison and that water go hand in hand? It's gonna have to. If we wanna live on this earth and we wanna grow and prosper, we're gonna have to start. How can poison more. and water go hand in hand? It can't. That's why we have to come to solutions. Perhaps maybe there can be a uh, some, some partnerships. How? There's always solutions. How? Maybe, maybe, that, hire, you... maybe power could hire a remote First Nation to clear the power. There we go. Train some First Nation workers yeah. to do the work. Yeah. Maybe. How maybe, come they don't? Uh, you go and ask uh, the president. I don't know. But we can follow up and find out about it.